Hey, welcome back to the building guide. Today we're going to cover techniques for air sealing a home. A successful air barrier is one of the most overlooked but important components of an efficient and durable building envelope. A lot of heat gets lost through air leakage. In fact, uh, back at a time when air barriers weren't at all on the radar of builders, it was considered to account for about one third the total heat loss of a house. It can also result in a lot of water being deposited inside your walls as that warm, humid air escapes and it condenses in the process. You don't want multiple vapor barriers in a wall system, but multiple air barriers is no problem at all. And it doesn't matter where within the wall that you put them. Our main air barrier is Delta Vent SA, the vapor permeable exterior peel and stick membrane that you see being installed here. It's applied by first using a primer on the sheathing then wrapping the membrane around and into the window box buildouts, sealing the exterior is only one step. You still have a lot of openings to contend with uh, windows and doors, the wall to roof junction, wall to slab junction, anything that penetrates your air barrier, like plumbing, ventilation, wiring. So from the bottom, the sub slab vapor barrier comes up, it's attached to the sheathing and then the vent SA overlaps that. This prevents any air leakage where the wall sits at the slab. With the windows, we know that the rough opening is sealed, so now it's a matter of sealing between the window frame and the rough opening. We experimented with a couple of techniques here. We use Delta Than caulking, but also the Delta multiband tape. Of the two, we found the tape much easier to install. And when we did a blower door test, we didn't have a single leak where we had taped, but we did have a couple with the caulking. So of the two methods, we prefer the tape. Delta sent us another fun product to try called FlexBand. This was great for sealing large ventilation openings like the dryer vent, range hood, air exchangers. Uh, it's a, a thick and really flexible membrane. You're able to wrap around any sleeve that's going through an opening and it easily seals up to the sheathing. We also put a small piece of FlexBand where we knew that the exterior screws were going to be penetrating our air barrier while we were attaching the insulation with strapping. Uh, this, the intention of this is that the membrane seals up around the screws. If you saw the previous wall assembly video, you know we don't have a poly vapor barrier in the walls, but we do have one in the ceiling, and that was arguably the weakest point in our air barrier. Leakage can often be found when you have junctions between two separate materials. Like in our case, we have our outside wall membrane, that's our air barrier, but on the inside it's the poly on the ceiling, so that's always a risky point for air leakage. So what we did was lay a sheet of poly across the top of the walls before we installed the trusses, so that way we could tape it to the interior poly, but also tape it to the exterior membrane. When you think you've got an airtight building envelope, it's a good idea to have a blower door test done before you like drywall over your air barrier, if that's like the polyethylene. A blower door test is where a fan is installed in the door blowing out to depressurize the house. This allows the amount of incoming air to be measured so you'll know instantly if you did a good job on your air barrier. And the best part of that is that while the test is going on, you can easily find and fix holes. When we did ours, most of the leaks that we found were in the ceiling, either staple holes we missed or places where uh, the poly had sort of been folded over. A blower door test is going to give you a reading uh, in ACH, air changes per hour. Um, at the start of our test, we had a 0.9 ACH reading, and by the end, we had brought that down to 0.69 ACH. Those numbers might not mean a lot to you, that's okay, just suffice to say that we found and fixed a lot of holes. Our main air barrier on the exterior wall is the gray vent SA membrane. But we also have an additional air barrier with the black vent S membrane that goes on the exterior of the rigid insulation. And uh, we ran our blower door test right before we had to finish the interior ceiling so that we could find and fix any holes. And at that point we had yet to complete our second air barrier but even without that done we had about one fifth the air leakage considered average for new home construction. Air barriers are more of an investment in time than materials because there's always going to be membranes and tape and caulking going on, how well sealed your house is, is more a matter of attention to detail than anything else. Uh, and it's time really well spent given the impact air leakage is gonna have on your heating and cooling costs, but also the long-term durability of your home.